Now that we understand how to include parameters in the Configurator 360 product catalog, let's talk about adding rules to them using the iLogic browser. Back in the Parameters dialog, we're going to use pulldowns for the number of bins, which controls the height and length of the storage unit. In the Manage tab, we'll find the iLogic browser. Here, we can create a new rule for the size or dimensions we have in the design. Length and height will be controlled by the number of bins times 12 inches. We can also control other dimensions that are used for the number of instances in patterns, such as rows and columns for the bins, as well as the number of shelves. Notice that the pattern features in the design have been renamed in the browser, which makes them easier to find. Dimensions can also be renamed, making it easier to find the variables you are looking for. Back in the Parameters dialog, it's always a good idea to test these rules before uploading the model. There are additional options after the model has been uploaded to your Configurator 360 product catalog. Make edit boxes read-only, set minimum and maximum values, exclude parameters, even change the display name. In the next one-minute video, we'll talk about adding checkboxes and additional options in iLogic.